Hi, this is Dr. Rasya Dikshit from Dr. Dikshit Cosmetic Dermatology, Bangalore. One of the most frequent questions I get asked by patients is how often do I wash my face? My face becomes very oily even after half an hour of washing it. Should I wash it again? Or they tell me that they wash their face again and again to keep their skin looking fresh. But when you normally talk about skin and skin care, we usually tell you to use your face wash two or maximum three times a day. Why do we say not to wash your face more often than that? Whatever face wash you are using, even though it is a soap-free product, it keeps stripping your skin of the normal oil barrier and the skin barrier which the skin forms every day. When you wash your face more and more often, you are actually stripping the skin of the protective elements that it makes works hard to make. For example, there is a barrier which is made by the skin. This is containing ceramides, some sebum. So when you strip your skin of this protective barrier, you are actually harming the skin. So some people might think, I am my skin is becoming more oily, so let me wash it more often. But what you are creating is when you wash your face more often, your skin actually secretes more oil to protect itself. And therefore, you are in turn causing the skin to damage itself. So the chances of breakout or whatever skin sensitivity that you already have actually increases when you wash your face more often. So how do you do or how do you how often do you wash your face? I think you need to wash your face two times a day, once you get up in the morning, and once when you Go to before you go to bed yes some of us travel a lot in pollution and they will definitely be excused if they want to wash their face a third time but the third time stick to just plain water or use a very gentle soap free cleanser and then don't forget to immediately hydrate your skin with a water containing or a hyaluronic acid gel which seals your barrier and prevents your skin from getting excessively dry which could next lead to other complications such as excessively sensitive skin, dry skin and rash. 